Hi guys, good evening. Um, it's quite late. It's about a quarter to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm up. I came back not to, not that long ago from Sephora in Manhattan. Um, I live in New York City. I just felt like um, making this video as that I did purchase some products from Sephora again. So what I'm wearing on my eyes is um, a product by Danessa Myricks. It's Milky Way. Um, this is the Color Fix um, foil, which you which could be used on eyes, lips, and cheeks, I believe. Um, this Milky Way is very shimmery. I think this is, and for me, I find it more flattering for the eyes versus the lips or the cheeks. Um, I mean, you could probably use this for the lips, like maybe as a topper if you want to give it like a glitter or glossy kind of look. That's just not my forte. I mean, I like those kind of glosses, but I just want to use that for that. But you could if you wanted to. Um, so, um, just to, I will say this is a very messy applicator. It comes out very watery and sloppy. I'll show you guys. Even if you, um, I'm gently pressing on this. It's just very watery. That's the one thing I don't like about it. It's very liquidy, I guess, if that's a word. Oh, watery. Um, but... I'm not going to use my finger because I used my finger before and I don't know if you guys can see some glitter specks here. It's it's very hard to take off and I was using my Lacombe um, eye makeup removal and, and it still didn't get all of this off. So I probably, when I take my shower or my bath tonight, it will probably come off. So, so as you guys can see, this is like a... This, like a white glitter, I mean, you could use this as a topper. I didn't use it as a topper. I just, um, actually, I had put it all over my lid. And then, um, but it does look nice. I'm just, so you guys can get a closer look. And what I did was this color that I blended in the, um, what is that called? The outer V, outer corner or something? <laughs> I actually use one of the magnetic matte eye color sticks from the brand Nude Sticks. Um, this is, they have a, a collection of six of these matte eyeshadow pencils. Um, I think, how much I pay for this? Was it like 30 something dollars or something? Whatever. But I bought it from Sephora. This is the shade, what's the name of the shade? <laughs> It's so dark. It's written, I think it's called Shady, Shady Gay, I think. But this is supposed to be like a dark blue color, um, like a navy, I would say. So what I did was I basically put this over this and, and like smudged it out. So it can lift this color because as you can see, this is darker than what you see here. So I put this over this on my eye and then I just smudged it out so it could give it like more of a, a bluish grayish look there. And then of course I have my tight lining here and mascara at the bottom here. But this is a nice, this is nice. This is $18. Um, I just wanted to try this out and show you guys. I also bought another one of the color fix. This is orange. Orange is a tricky color to use. Um, you have to know what to do. I have an idea. I'm going to do a look shortly where I'm going to use this with, um, I'm thinking about my Victoria Beckham blue eyeliner, um, or blue from another palette, I'm going to think of. Because orange and blue looks beautiful, okay? Um, but before I show you the swatch for this, the red I'm wearing, this is from the latest um, Too Faced, um, that, this hydrating lipstick. This is Lady Balls. Now, if anyone's familiar with Too Faced, remember they had um, the Lady Balls liquid um lipstick. I don't have it anymore, but I did buy it when it first came out. Um, I just never thought to buy, repurchase it. Not that it was bad, but it's just, I started getting hooked on other brands, you know, um, Pat McGrath reds and, um, NARS red and Le Rouge, Le Rouge of Le Rouge. I'm not sure how to say it. <laughs> it's like a French brand. They're reds. Um, you know, I just started exploring other 
reds from reds from other brands basically so but i always liked lady balls from um Too faced and that liquid one was nice i actually like this one better it is a very pretty red i actually like this red how it looks on me the way you guys see me it's much brighter because of my vanity light that's behind this phone but this is a very pretty red red oh this and I don't think on the website, it doesn't say that it has a matte finish, but it feels matte, but yet hydrating. And I did wear a face mask. And then, um, I mean, I wore a face mask when I, uh, after I purchased it from Sephora, I put it on right away and I put on my face mask. I rolled the bus and then you know, I walked home and it still looks good. I mean, it's, it's, it's about an hour, but I have to test it longer than that, but it feels comfortable. I really like this red. Um, it's hydrated. Actually, I'm liking this better than the Too Faced Lady Balls liquid um, formulated one. I also purchased another one um, from the Lady Bold Too Faced collection. That's that's the name of the collection. It's the Too Faced Lady Bold collection. This one is Rebel. This is like a, um, I guess a cranberry color or something. Just so you show you guys. I know that's good. I tried it on. That looks nice on me. But um, as you can see, it's like, it kind of has, I would say like a semi-matte finish, but I don't think it says that on the website. I think it just says like hydrating. I mean, I'll check, but so in my opinion, this appears in the way it feels. It's like semi-matte, um, yeah, semi-matte, but yet hydrating formula. And um, I like to have an a variety of lipsticks where um, there's some that's like strictly hardcore matte, like those Pat McGrath liquid um, lipsticks, or even the NARS Power Matte lip liquid lipsticks that I wore in the past video. Those are what I consider like hardcore matte, like when they dry, um, they dry. And even if you set it with translucent powder, it really dry dries. Um, then I have, of course, the latest ones I got from Fashion Fair. Those, those are not matte. Those are literally hydrating, um, but also gives like a shiny finish to it. Then you have these where, in my opinion, it appears to be semi-matte, but yet has a hydrating feel, but it doesn't give, it doesn't have a, as much of a shiny, glossy finish like the Fashion Fair lipsticks I tried in one of my previous videos. And then you also have, um, um, of course, Anastasia have those matte lipsticks. Who am I missing? Um... Pat McGrath have the matte lipsticks. I'm not really big on Natasha Denona lipsticks, so I can't really comment on Natasha Denona lipsticks. Um, I have a whole bag of lipsticks. Um, the French brand Le Rouge or whatever. I'm not sure what to say. Sorry, guys. Um, those lipsticks are um, they're they're matte, but they're more um, they're kind of like semi matte, like this, but they're not hydrating. They're more drying on the lips, but they're very good colors and. Um, I have not tried the Victoria Beckham Posh lipsticks. I'm just, it just didn't gravitate to me. Um, but now let me just do a quick, um, cause this is my first time trying this one out. Um, cause I just purchased this one today. So this orange looks very nice. So I'm thinking about doing a look with this orange. This is pretty. Oh, this is, I think this is going to look very pretty on me. Um, I think I'm going to do a look with this orange with maybe a, a blue, a dark blue. Oh, you know what would be a bold look? And I'm thinking about trying this. This with a navy blue and a black lipstick. Oh, that would look bold. Oh, that would look bold. And then if I, if I, if I don't want so much of a bold look, this with a dark, like with a deep or navy blue and a brown lipstick, maybe like, um, maybe my sepia lipstick from Fashion Fair, you know, since this is matte, it, I could always, anytime, in my opinion, anytime you wear shine, like glitter, shimmer kind of eyeshadow look, I personally would like to wear something that's like matte, semi-matte. And then anytime I wear like a matte look on my eyes, then sometimes I would like to wear like a glossy, shimmery, metallic finish lipstick, you know, like the opposite. So um, I'm going to wipe everything. I'm going to change my looks, but I wanted to show you guys this eye look. This is very nice. This is called Milky Way once again. This is a color fix by Danessa Myricks. I'm actually going to take a picture and I'm going to post this on um, Sephora um, page so that people get an idea as to, as to how this look. 
um, this is a very pretty color. I mean, you could say this resembles one of those whitish uh, glitter topper shades from Pat McGrath palettes. I guess you can say it kind of do resemble this, but I will say that at least with this, you don't have to use glitter glue. You know what I mean? You can use just a regular primer and they do last because I do have, um, I've, I have other color fix colors, but it's like a dark, I have the chocolate one and it does last a long time. Um, it lasts longer. It, it lasts a pretty wow good wow with just regular primer unlike the pat mcgrath ones where you um for these kind of glittery glitter metallic things it's it's you it just it's best if you use like a glitter glue or something like that to ensure longevity okay i'm gonna pause the video um actually i'm gonna stop the video i'm gonna take some pictures and then i'll come back and i'll try this look with the orange so this is the look with the orange um color Danessa Myrick's color fix this is a tricky uh, it's not that it's a tricky color it's just the formula of this product um, with this being a bright color is a bit tricky to work with I'm not gonna lie it took me a good minute to try to figure out the eye look without it look without it looking so patchy and you know all that stuff so Number one, I will say use a light hand when you do this. I put a little uh, a little drop there, and the brush I used was the uh, Wayne Goss number twenty brush from his um um. Let me show you guys Wayne Goss number twenty brush from his eye set collection. And I dipped my bl um, brush in it and then I just like, I first put it on the lid and then I quickly smoked it out um, because this baby dries quick, okay? I did read some reviews on Sephora after I did this look and people were saying that, oh, you have to be really quick. They're right, okay? Anyone who was interested or considering buying this, yes, um, when you use this, make sure whatever look you're trying to achieve, whatever you put it, Smoke it out, whatever you want to do with and using your brush, do it quickly because it does dry quick, okay? So I turned, I made this into like a smoky look and then the I this blue here, I actually put it all over my eyes, but I like used a smudger because I wanted it to show more. That's the Victoria Beckham um, blue satin eyeliner. Um, I was trying to decide between this Victoria Blue eyeliner or the Wayne Goss Blue Sapphire highlighter, but this, I mean highlighter, <laughs> eyeliner, but this was much darker and I wanted something a tad bit brighter, but yet still deep. So that's why I went with the, um, the Victoria Beckham. I did at first wear the, the black lipstick actually is not it's a black lipstick. It's by a controversial brand. Um, what's his name? Jeffree Star. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I do like this. This is a Jeffree Star. It's a gloss, but it's like highly pigmented gloss and the shade, um, weirdo. This is a black. I love black. Black looks nice on me and black, um, looks nice on various skin tones. It's a bold color. So I can understand if anyone's intimidated by wearing black lipstick, but you could, you, like, if you know how to do your eye look in the accessories and the clothing, you could pull it off. But the only reason I decided to not wear this is because it gave me a very glossy finish, like, and I just didn't want that. I thought I had a black matte lipstick. You know which black matte lipstick I used to have? I used to have the one by, um, Kat Von D. Those liquid lipsticks by Kat Von D. Like, I used to have the black one. I think it was called Vampire. Was it Vampire or something? Someone out there know what I'm talking about. It was a Cam Bondi, the liquid lipsticks in the black shade. Um, but that was, how was it, what, like two years ago? <laughs> I don't have any more. But I need to stack up. I need to get more black lipstick, um, matte lipstick I'm talking about. Because this is just a gloss. So I decided to wear Sepia, which is um, a Sepia, which is the Fashion Fear colored brown, brown lipstick. This looks lovely with this. So this is something I could definitely wear in the daytime. I'm really liking this look. Um, this is very pretty. And as you can tell, I changed my eyebrows. I'll be changing my eyebrows to suit my look, okay? Uh, and I made it look a little bit more full or whatever. But, um, 
I mean, I like this. This is a very pretty orange. Like I said, it's it's a tad bit tricky. Um, like see right here, like I can even I see I, I didn't blend this out as much as I like, and it drew, and it dried so darn quickly. I'm trying to okay. I think I'm able to. All right, I'm able to smoke it out a little bit, like blend it out a little bit. But just so you guys know, you really have to like work quickly with this baby. Okay. Um, I'm looking at my vanity mirror too, but. I do like this eye look. So, um, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. It is late. It's about a quarter to 12. I am tired. Um, I'm thinking about wearing this eye look, this orange tomorrow. I'm really liking this orange. And, um, yeah, I really like this orange. And I think I am going to wear, um, if I, I, maybe I'll try the Wayne Goss Blue Sapphire, which is a deeper blue, and see how that looks. But I do like it with the Victoria Beckham blue eyeliner with the same lip lipstick this will oh this is gonna look nice of course, I, i'm gonna do my eyebrows differently i just wanted to get like a more fuller fluffier eyebrow look to see how this looks but i like it all right guys i hope you enjoyed this um tomorrow maybe um i'll try the rebel um the shade rebel from the Too faced what is this called again? Lady Bold Collection. Um, I just don't feel like turning it out now. I'm tired, but I hope someone out there enjoyed my videos. And if you enjoyed it, please hit the like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate for you to be a part of my community. My name is Andrea and God bless and have a good night. Bye.